Hey guys. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. Uh, <laughs> we're going to make some really cool uh, rings to match our manicure uh, with these stickers that was uh, sent to me for review and uh, use by bornprettystore.com. Links to everything in the description and a promo code. So use that. All right. So these glass caps you can find anywhere. Um, anybody who's ever made a polish, a nail polish ring, knows that these are great. Um, if you work with resin, you can also make just blanks like these. I like the glass ones. I think they work a little bit better. But they're awesome. So you want these. And you want them cleaned with alcohol. Which I did. And then I touched them. So we'll see. <laughs> so uh, you can get them in all kinds of shapes and sizes um, on the internet and in craft stores. We're going to use this little dome guy. You take some clear nail polish, any clear nail polish. I'm using clean color. And then you're going to want to, and this will not work unless you do this, <laughs> sadly. I'm going to paint some of this with the clear nail polish, like that. Okay, set that aside. While that's still kind of tacky, we're going to decide what we want to use for our ring, and because I want to match my my uh, manicure, I think I'm going to grab one of the snowmen. Oh, where are they? Oh no, it's not going to be tacky enough. Alright, I'm just going to grab a snowman. <laughs> oh, here they are. I'm going to grab one of these snowmen. I'm going to grab one of the big ones, I think. Ooh, if you heard that noise, that was my computer shutting off. <laughs> Alright, one of these guys. Oop, oh, I got it. Here we go. And we're going to take him onto that tacky surface. We're going to place him face down ooh, onto that clear nail polish and press him down so that he doesn't have any little air bubbles. Now sometimes um, with these you have to babysit them a little bit because they can't see how you, the air was poofing out the side there. Getting little bubbles. Pop those little bubbles. Um, again, because it's a crafting channel, if you've worked with resin, you know that this is kind of like putting a sticker in resin. So we're doing that. I'll show you. You can take a look at him. Make sure he's placed where you want him. I'm shaky. I've had too much coffee today. So we're going to make sure that he doesn't... Um, sometimes these can roll up on you while you're doing this, so that's why I kind of tend to babysit it a little bit. And I think we're going to put a little present in here too. One that's a little bit bigger than the present that I actually used on my manicure. But it's okay. Alright. And then this one I'm going to press down a little bit. Okay. You don't really want to use your fingers <laughs> because then you're going to get fingerprints and everything. But okay. Right, like this. Now we're going to work backwards. Just fair warning, we're working backwards. <laughs> so what we'll do next, which if you watch the manicure that I did here, which the video will be in the linked in the description, uh, that we are matching, uh, we're going to put the snow. It's at the bottom. On next, you could add the glitter if you wanted to first, but I'm just gonna do the snow. And then we're just going to take a cotton swab, and uh, this is a, any white polish, but this is Sally Henson uh, White On nail polish. And I'm just kind of dabbing it to make it kind of look snowy. Nothing super duper complicated. And then you can, of course, check it out like that to see if that's how you want that. I think I want a little bit more snow on it. So I'm going to go up on his side just a little bit more. Boop, 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 boop. You could paint it directly on here if you wanted to, too. Um, so that is how that is going to look. All right, let me see if I can get this to look a little better so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. That's how he looks so far. 
Looks like he's falling over. Just a little. All right. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do? I think we're going to add a snowflake. Doesn't he need a snowflake? I think he needs a snowflake. Maybe. Oh, and when you're um, ready and you're looking for other things to place on here because of the gaps, you can. Here, let me put it like this. All right, there we go. And you can then take it and go over it and see what will fit and what you'd like there. Let's see. Oop, see that? Kind of as big little one. That one would fit really. Oop, that one would fit pretty nice. Um, just a little gold one. Um, so yeah, you can take it and and really figure out exactly what you want to do. Actually, I kind of think that this would look cute. Do you see how that's cute? Hold on. Cause it's like a little Christmas tree. I can put the Christmas tree behind them. So I think I'm going to do that. So how are we going to do that? You ask. <laughs> Why, it's easy. All right. Um, I'm going to figure out what Christmas tree I want. Do, 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 do. Littler one. Okay. And let me put it near there. I'm going to put this one, this little tiny Christmas tree here. We're going to put that in there, but I'm going to turn it the right side there. Get everything ready. Now I'm going to take that clear again. And where I'm going to put the tree, I'm going to paint a thin coat of the clear on. And again, let that get tacky. So while that's getting tacky, I'll go ahead and pick up my tree. Doo, 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 doo. It's so festive in here. So festive up in this joint. All right, I've got my tree. Let me, and this part, you don't really have to worry about your fingerprints on this one. I just like being precise. Now, with this one, because you can't really see it anywhere else, I can kind of put this anywhere. Ah! Whoa, please don't stick to my thingy, my bobbers. Hold on. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you get a little playtime, so it's not like a huge big deal. But we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to plop that any way it will stick. Okay, now the polish is tacky enough to grab it from my stick. Grab the polish from my stick, gosh. All right, I'm going to tap that in. Pew! See? Cute Christmas tree, aww. All right. Do, 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 do. And again, you want to make sure there are no bubbles and make sure it's where it's exactly what where you want it to be. And then set that aside. While I'm doing that, I'll show you a couple others. This one is a cute little reindeer. Also from that sheet from Born Pretty Store. Isn't that cute? Little reindeer. Aww. There we go. It's got like a little Christmas tree in it. Very, very cute, and I stuck it on just one of these filigree ring backs, and you can see it's just nail polish. And I just used E6000 to put that down. This one's a little more Christmassy. I like this one. <laughs> Oop, he's kind of dirty. There we go. Oop, there he is. See, it's Merry Christmas. There's lots of glitter. I went a little crazy on this one. That's really cute. And I again put it on one of those filigree backs, which is really, really cute and adjustable and nice. And this one, again, for my resin girls and boys, <laughs> um, I just realized that these are upside down. <laughs> for you, it's upside down. Let me show you again where it's not upside down. So there are these two. I really, really love these. Lots of Christmassy awesomeness happening there. And then, again, for the resin people, boop. this one was just um, an empty, um, what would that be? Would that be a ring bezel? I'm not really sure. Uh, I stuck it in some clay. I um, painted the nail polish in like you would a nail. Then I did some glitter on it, and then I put the stickers in. And then, if you wanted to protect this, I, I layered um, two coats of clear nail polish in. But if you had resin, this would be great to dome resin over which is what I'm going to do with this later. 
So um, very, very cool, very, very easy. You can have your jewelry match your nails, which is, I think, kind of awesome. And ridiculous, very ridiculous, but completely awesome. So, and you can do this for any holiday and any kind of design if you just find one that you really, really like. Um, works really nice. Hey, this one will look cute. Okay, so the last um, step to this one, because I'm not going to put any glitter behind this one this time, uh, is just taking that base polish that you used for your hands and going over everything. Pretty generous coat, usually about two coats, and then just leave it alone. <laughs> but there we go. And that's what that's going to look like. Isn't that super cute? And then I'm just going to put in a ring base and it will match my nails. Jewelry to match our nail balls. All right. Uh, that's all I got. If you want to see more about these nail de decals from Born Pretty, Pretty Store, uh, there is a link to these. There is a link to these in the description. They're very well priced, by the way. Uh, you get a ton of these. You get huge, huge sheet of these and they're three designs um full uh three by four I guess so uh, yes so the link will be in the description for these and the sale code and all that stuff and thank you guys for watching so much and uh being awesome have a great night guys be awesomeness have a great and awesomeness happy holidays